Hi, this is Lisa Wheeler from Embracing Health and today I'm going to take you through making a superfood nut milk elixir. It tastes like a chocolate milkshake but it's really really good for you. So I'm going to take you through the whole process start to finish and show you how easy it is and it's really tasty, even the kids will love it. So the first thing I'm going to do is brew up some mushrooms and herbs which are, is a really good immune tonic and also really good for the liver. So we want to use that in the nut milk as a finished product. So we're going to brew it first and then let it cool down. So what I've got here is just a plunger. I have some reishi mushroom powder. So I'll put a heaped teaspoon of reishi mushroom powder. Then I'm going to use some shaga mushroom powder and this is really good for the immune system and it gives it a really rich flavour. So there's a heap teaspoon of shaga. And then I'm using my Byron Bay tea, the Dandelicious. So this is dandelion, wattle and cinnamon. And I'll put a teaspoon of that as well. Okay. So that's our mix and then we'll put some water, some recently boiled water, and we'll let that brew and cool for a couple of hours. Okay, there's two ways to make nut milk. So I'm going to show you both ways today because depending on what type of juicer you have, you'll either make it in the blender or in the juicer. So the first one I'm going to do is the traditional way which is using the blender. So what I've done here is soaked some almonds and some dates. So they've been soaking for probably six or seven hours. And one of the reasons we soak, um, not only just to make it easier to blend and to make a milk out of it, but with nuts, seeds, legumes, you need to soak them overnight or for at least six hours to remove the enzyme inhibitors that stop the nutrients being absorbed. So it's really important to soak the nuts. Okay, so the first thing we do is just strain those. You never want to use the water from off soaked nuts. If you're just soaking dates or figs, it's fine to use that water in your recipes, but you don't want to use your nut waters. So we get rid of that. And the reason we put some dates in there is just to give the milk a little bit of a sweeter flavour. Okay. So I put, what I've done here is about one cup of nuts and half a cup of dates. And I'm putting those into about a litre of water. We've only used a small amount here, you can go higher with this as well. And now I'm just going to blend that. Okay, when that's nicely blended, you take the liquid and you put it through a nut milk bag. So here I have a beautiful hemp nut milk bag um, that was given to me by Juliana on the David Wolf tour this year and we will be having some more at the David Wolf tour in 2011. And all we do is this is inside out so that the nuts don't get caught on the seams. And all we do is pour the liquid into the nut milk bag. And then the milk comes through and you twist it really tightly because if you squeeze it without holding the top, the mixture can push out and go everywhere. And you twist it round and the milk will come out through the bag. So that's making a beautiful nut milk mixture. So you can have that on its own or you can mix it with other foods or um, superfoods like we're going to do now. And, and make a beautiful elixir. Okay, as I said, there's a couple of ways of making nut milk. So here, from squeezing it through the nut milk bag, we have a beautiful almond milk. And that can be used um, in lots of different recipes. It will keep for a couple of days in an airtight container in the fridge. Uh, you can use it on cereal, you can put it in um, different smoothies, um, use it as a base for those, or you can have it on its own. What I like to say is you can 
use it like Baileys on ice and you guess we'll never know. You can serve it to them like that. So it's beautiful. So that's one way of making nut milk. Now I'm going to show you the other way which is through the juicer. And I've got to thank Jeremy who came to the Mornington Peninsula retreat in September who said that the angel juicer can make nut milks and I went, I have to have it. That's the easiest way to do nut milk. So this is the other way. So I'm going to, what I have here is uh, two cups of almonds and one cup of dates. You can use figs as well to sweeten. Figs are beautiful in um, nut milks. You can also use other nuts. So cashews are great and Brazil nuts which give you selenium. So they're lovely as well. Or you can use a mixture of nuts so you don't have to just use almonds. So again we throw away the water that the nuts and dates were in. in there and we're going to put those through the juicer with um, some water. Okay. So it's basically just pick up a handful in the juicer. See that's really oops light and fluffy it's um, got all the moisture taken out of it so you can use that in dessert recipes as basis for pies you can sprinkle it on fruit so it's really lovely and it does freeze that was what I had in the freezer so that does freeze then we have our beautiful nut milk so I put about a liter of water through with the two cups of almonds and one cup of dates. So again you can have that on its own but what we're going to do now is make a beautiful superfood healing elixir. So this goes into the blender. So now to make the superfood part of the um, nut milk drink. Uh, we have the nut milk in the blender and then here we have our brewed mix of reishi mushroom Shaga and dandelion wattle seed cinnamon mix that we brewed earlier and let cool right down. So we pour, I use about half of this, I don't know what the measurement is, but about half gives it a nice flavour without being overpoweringly bitter. So we pour this one in. Okay. On top of that, I'm going to add in some vanilla. If you like to use um, vanilla beans, you can scrape the inside of one or two vanilla beans out and that will be lovely as well. Vanilla. Then I'm putting in carob and cacao, so I'm putting in the mix of both. I don't like to use cacao just on its own, so I always split it half-half with um, organic carob powder. So in this uh, mix, which is about a litre, I'm going to put in about two teaspoons of each. That's the cacao. And the carob. And then I'm going to add in two superfoods. One is maca powder. And I'll put in just a good teaspoon of maca. Great for the adrenals, very good for balancing hormone levels, for stamina, for energy. It's a, a really beautiful superfood maca powder. And the last one I'm adding in is mesquite meal. And this one has a bit of a sweet flavour, so it adds a bit of sweetness to our superfood drink. About a teaspoon or two is fine. It's also very good for balancing blood sugar levels, so it has nice protein in it, balances blood sugar, so it goes into the overall healing mix. 
Now, if you did want it to be a little bit sweeter, you could add a little bit of raw honey or agave nectar. Um, but as it is, um, it should be quite fine. We had the dates in the nut milk to sweeten it. So all we do then is give that a blend, and it doesn't take long to blend because there's no solids in there. If you did want to, you could add in an ice cube, if you so choose, to make it a little bit of a cooler milkshake, but body temperature or room temperature is the best way to have any food or drinks. And that's all it needs. And there you have the beautiful superfood elixir that looks just like a chocolate milkshake. Cheers.